Hello everybody, my name is Iceberg Lettuce, and today we are here in Minecraft 1.17 to talk about some of the changes to ore generation and how I believe you can get more diamonds from mining. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. So the first thing to consider is that if you mine at a certain Y level, for example, say you're mining at Y6, you actually expose quite a few more levels than just what is on that Y level. So if you're mining here, then you actually expose blocks from Y levels 5 through 8, which gives different rankings to uh, each Y level in terms of how much you get from it. And so you might have seen that uh, Exuma did a video about mining at Y6 compared to Y11, like where everybody used to mine, and found that uh, using this methodology, mining at Y6 was 35% better than mining at Y11, which uh, is quite a big increase. In his video, however, he uses uh, quite a small sample size, and so I went looking for someone who had did some experiments using a larger sample size to see what the numbers looked like from that. So I found a post from user Derek Holland on r slash technical minecraft on reddit, and he did the math using this methodology with a much larger sample size using multiple seeds and no data packs, and found that uh, it was only 7.6% better mining at Y6 compared to Y11 in terms of the number of diamonds you get, but he also did the math for lava and found that you have a 9,356% chance higher of running into lava when mining at Y6 compared to Y11. And this makes perfect sense. That's kind of why everyone used to mine at Y11 anyway, because when you mine at Y11, all of the lava that generates below at Y10 and below is at your feet. So all you need to do is dump water over it or just ignore it or place blocks, and it's not that big of a deal. Mining any lower means that you are surrounded by lava and have a chance to get it, you know, dumped on your head. It does seem, however, to be conclusive that there is a significant increase in diamond generation uh, in Y6 compared to Y11. So I wanted to see if there was a good method to mine at Y6 to take advantage of those better diamond generations without having to worry about the giant lava pools, and I came up with something that I think is pretty interesting. So without any further ado, this is my mining method I have come up with. I've been using this on a survival server that I play on, and I've seen quite a bit of success with it, but I wanted to show this off and get some opinions and see what you guys think. So the first step is just to pick a spot and mine down to Y6. Alright, so we're at Y6. In case you haven't noticed, I'm using um, Mini HUD. It's a client-side mod that allows me to see my coordinates and biome up at the top left of my screen at any time. It's very useful. So anyway, now that you are down at Y6, just mine straight forward for a while, until you hit lava or until you get bored. If, if you do hit lava fairly quickly, uh, chug a couple of lava or fire resistance potions and just place some blocks and get rid of the lava. It's very important that you just have a straight path going- whoa! Look at that. Okay, that was a total coincidence. That's not related. Just mine straight forward until you get bored or you hit lava. Alright, so at the end of this, you should have a fairly long straight path just going forward at Y6. So. Uh, this will be your main branch, so here near uh, your entrance, you'll probably want to, you know, uh, break a couple blocks, set up a little room with some chests and stuff, this will kind of be your main hub, put some furnaces. So now let's talk about the actual mining method. So first, you want to go two blocks forward and start mining in a branch directly off of your main branch. And so you're just going to want to mine straight forward as long as you can. So if you ever hit lava, just stop. Just give up and turn around. So let's just say, for example, okay, this is water, but let's just pretend that we just hit a giant lava pool. So you hit that, just block it off real quick and turn around. Now you want to go the other direction and make another... Br oh, look, this is really rare, actually. You're not going to be able to find this after 1.17. Uh, PSA, if you find deep slate copper ore, mine it with silk touch, keep it, because that's going to become rare eventually. So anyway, as I was saying, uh, just create another branch the same way you made this one, and just go this way until you hit lava. Oh look, diamonds, we found them, ha. Okay, so let's just pretend that we 
hit lava, uh, and we're done with this branch. So, oh, okay, there's lava right above me. Um, so now that you've made two branches, you are going to want to, again, move two blocks forward, one, two, and so there should be two blocks of distance between this branch, and you're going to make another branch in the same direction. Just mine forward until you hit lava, then do the same thing over here, mine forward until you hit lava, then just keep going. Move two blocks forward, uh, branch until you hit lava, branch until you hit lava. And in between each branch, you can, if you get a bunch of blocks, you can head over to your chests or your furnace and put stuff away. Uh, so let's talk about why I think this method is really, really good. So first of all, obviously, we're mining at Y6 now, which means we get the increased diamond generation, which is very nice. But also, you basically don't have to deal with lava. Because every time we hit lava, we can just turn around and make another branch, we never have to actually deal with the lava. You can just ignore it, start another branch. So there is basically no downtime in your mining. You're just always mining, never dealing with lava, never wasting time. And you're never really putting yourself in danger either, because lava in the overworld flows very, very slowly. So you can just block it off as soon as you find it. I've been using this method for about a week on my server that I play on, and it has proven very effective. I am going to swear by this method, because you can just... You have this really long branch, there is always a new spot to make more branches off of it. You never have any downtime, no wasted time. So that's why I think this is a very effective method for mining. Uh, I would like to hear your guys' suggestions. I'd like to see you guys try it out. Tell me what you think. Tell me uh, what you get out of it. I'd also like to point out that this is also a pretty effective method for mining ancient debris. I have always hated mining for ancient debris, but after I came up with this method for mining diamonds, I wanted to try it out in the nether, because the problem with mining ancient debris is obviously you always run into lava, which sucks, and so I tried this out, just making a long branch and turning around whenever I came to something annoying, and it's also worked pretty well. I've just been strip mining and getting just about as much ancient debris as you would from mining with bed explosions or TNT. So anyway, that's my mining method. I hope you all enjoyed this video, I hope you find it useful, and I hope you guys try this out. Tell me what you think, tell me what you get out of it, and uh, uh, happy mining everybody. See you next time, and thanks for watching. Bye.